Price is above 103. We know where it's going when it's going up. 13 and 23. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just so that you know, there is a new rotation. However, the the um, the longer term, it hasn't changed. The the future intention, it hasn't changed yet. It is changing to sideways because that's what that's the overall market direction today, right? But it hasn't changed completely yet, right? So the overall market, the overall market direction, the entire environment, it hasn't changed. So what does that mean? Sideways. Sideways means that we don't expect the price to clean take our 23. That's not gonna happen, okay? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it hasn't changed. So we've, we've, we've had our medium thread, our medium term trend still bearish it hasn't changed overall sideways medium bearish this this radical move right here it hasn't changed in other words smart money knew it they had to take the stops of all the weak bears those that like like unlike us don't know that the future is still bearish not by by much of course Right, but those that those that don't know, and we have another fatty right here. Price didn't go to 23, and look at this violent, massive retracement. Right? Okay, where's the price? It took it took 108 right here. Bears beginning to take control between 100, 108, no man's land, and like always, we have to go with a prediction. All righty, and if it are we right on our predictions 100% of the time, Mr. No. If we were, where, we, where would we be? Having lunch with Elon Musk. That's right. It's called how? The Holy Grail. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring 103. We're going to bring it down one point to 102. Okay, 103. We're going to bring it down to 102. All right, forget about this 100, doesn't matter anymore. We all know it's there and we all know it's a psychological level, right? All right, the 100. As long as the price is above 102 now, bulls are still in control and we are still expecting a move all the way to 23, ladies and gentlemen. All righty, so in other words, I told you at 9 a.m., as long as the price is above 103, the play is long, long. Where to? 07, 13, 23. Right? Right. The future hasn't happened yet, and it still hasn't happened. What are we doing now with 103? We're bringing it down one point to 102. So, as long as the price is now above 102, no 103, the bulls are still in control, and we are still main play long, expecting a test of 23, period. Any shorts that we take at our resistances, right, it's a counter trend. Then, confirmation, clean break of the 102 now, not 103, then bears take control, and we are expecting... 97, 89. Okay, so those are those traders that don't like to counter trend, you are still long, 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 beautifully long. This long right here, the uh, a, a lot of traders don't trade before a market mover because of this. Look at this, right? 20 all the way from 06 to 20. That's 14 points in 14 seconds up and 14 points down. 20 points down and then five points up. So we need to know the future. Short term, long. Medium term, down. And we don't care if the price never takes 102, right? We are main play long, expecting the price to continue to 23. It's just that we're going to take advantage of the ebb and flow of the market. In other words, we're looking to trade every single significant uh, move, right? We are in uptrend, rally, pullbacks, all that, all that beautiful jazz. 
Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to change uh, uh, 13. We're going to bring it down two points to 11. As long as the price is above 11, we are expecting a continuation all the way to 23. Okay. 11, as long as we are above 11 comfortably, we are on our way to 23. So, so we must uh, be strong and, um, and let it ride, which is the difference between the professional trader and the amateurs. The amateurs make a couple of points and they get the hell out all scared. We don't do that here. We are beginning to see signs of resistance right here, okay? We have a, we have a bearish uh, hangover right now, okay? Right here at 17, uh, 75, 18, right? We have a, well, look, right? Gee, what, what do you expect, right? Look at this. You know the high of the of the uh, spike, right? That's, all right, but you know not only that, but we're still having um, a signs of a resistance. So what does that mean to us? Well, that means to us that if the smart money wants to uh, uh, take it all the way to 23, which is where we want to go, then um, this 23 it is now even more reliable to totally counter trend it short. We're beginning, right? And as an, an aggressive shore, it's right here, right now, right? 17, that's an aggressive shore. And um, if the price goes all the way to 11, right? Um, and then we're expecting about, because remember, as long as the price, right? It's above 102, 107, and then minor 111, then the bulls are in control. But we're beginning to see signs of the bears are coming to the rescue right here okay that's why we trade tops bottoms and everything in between we are day traders we are scalpers okay ladies and gentlemen that's what 20 and change right 20 quarter right okay so the main play has not changed we still believe we just change it from 103 to 102 support believing that the price was gonna go to that 13 we moved it it went to 13 of course and then we moved it down to 11 this was target one right here and target two is 23 and we are beginning to see signs of resistance which tell us that the counter trend 23 has a pretty good odds of working it's a counter make no mistake about it all righty the main play however still remains long just like i told you at 9 a.m this morning as long as the price doesn't take our uh, gauge, uh, the main plate is long, all right? Look, cannot take it, can't, 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 bounce, 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 economic release, destroy all the weak, <laughs> all the retail traders, destroy right here, came right back down to our support. We don't, we don't let the market action uh, erratic uh, uh, move, uh, shake us out. We know exactly uh, who's in control and where they want to go. They wanted to go to 13 and they want to go to 23. So we are main place still long, as long as 12, 103 for me, which is now 102, it's taken. It's not more complicated than that. Hey, Cappy, so whatever happened with the, uh, with the future, man, intention of the trend that was going to go to 89? I told you. 102 needs to be taken, right? Until that's not taken, that ain't happening, <laughs> okay? All righty then. Okay, so in other words, if, if right, so we are day traders. We are scalpers. If you want to go with the main play, and um, just take that play and be strong. All you had to do was be long here and wait for uh, 102 to be taken. If it's taken, you get the hell out. If it's not taken, you go to target one and you go to target two. And I'm, I'm still looking for target three. I don't have it yet, but uh, it's coming. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, right? Price goes to where? To 21. We want it to short 23. Again, another bearish fight. Even. Think about this. So we didn't get the 23, right? So that's another that's another bearish fight. But we wanted 23 so that we can have the best risk reward ratio. 
But remember what I told you somewhere around here? Ladies and gentlemen, we began to see signs of the bears coming. So shorting the 23 count as a counter trend, it's, 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 it's more reliable now, it's higher odds, right? Okay, so what is the aggressive scalper does? Okay, well, let me see. Oh, oh my God, okay, so I'll, I'll take a shot short in the mid range between 19 and 23, that's four points. Divided by two is two, right? 19 plus two is what? 21, what's the high? 21. Look at it, you know, don't take my word for it. Look at it. Okay, repeat, bears are not gonna let the price to destroy 23. So this area right here, okay, it's a, it's a chore, okay? Okay, and how is that gonna happen? Well, it's a counter trend, so we do it with a small position. And where are we expecting to happen? A continuation to 11. Okay, price right now, 17. Alrighty then, 23, okay? So what do we have? We have 19, 23, 21, just so happens to be the mid-range. <clears throat> so 23 is still target two for the main play. Traders that don't like to counter trend, disregard taking any shorts. You just wanna ride it all the way to 23. But you need to know that it's a, it's a profit taking area because I'm not expecting a clean break to target three, which by the way, I don't have it yet. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, like we always do, we're going to pulse out the 23, okay? We're gonna pulse it out. That's in terms of um, the uh, main play long that has not changed target. You know that we all always get out three times. Target one, target two, target three. And target three, of course, is the last unit that we can play with it. All right, so target one, 13, accomplished. Target two, 23, not accomplished yet, but we wanna take advantage of the counter trend. Those traders that don't like to counter trend, this re forget about it, just do lock here. 23 okay and then we are uh, looking everywhere to see where target three is okay ladies and gentlemen that's 22 one point to target three what do you think is happening right now professional traders those of us who know the importance in terms of the strengths of the resistance of 23 are jumping the gun they don't want to take a chance you know what? Getting the hell out one point below. We do that all the time too. I mean, if you want to get out 22, it's perfectly fine. Especially since we know that we are in a counter trend shore 21, right? Okay, 19, this 19, remember 19, 23, mid range is 21, right? 21 is the mid range, right? This 21 right here, look at it. All right, look at the counter trend shore, 21, price goes to 22, one point of, of hit, and look at this beautiful drop all the way to 18. Are we out of the woods already? Of course not. This is a counter trend that most traders don't even, don't even uh, mess with it. We're going all the way to target three, right? So it's okay, but here, we trade tops, bottoms, and everything in between. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for the counter trend shore to to be comfortable um, on on in terms of uh, continue going, it needs to take 18. As long as 18 is holding, we are on our way to target three. 18. So 18, in other words, is the stop for the for the bulls that are tightening the leech, right? Are you kidding me? Look at this, from, from uh, we're, we're long from 102 
all the way to 22. That's 20 points, right? That's beautiful, 20 points. 20 points were we, those of us who knew to be long one or two and get out three times like we always do. It's not like runners. Oh, it's going our way. Okay, take out some here. Take out some here like, you know, like a lot of fake gurus do. No, no, no. We're going to get out three times. Target one, we're going to let it right there. Target two and target three. All righty. No, no shenanigans. Right? Okay. Right, right. Okay, now shenanigans. Target one, target two, target three. Period. Main play, long, one or it was 103, we move it down to 102, target 1 was 13, we move it down to 11, because it's now support, and target 2 is 23. That trip to 23, we know <laughs> it's not going to be uh, on a straight line, because we have a counter trend show right here. Look, look at the beautiful uh, pullback all the way to 18, right? Look at it, almost 18, 18 half, right? All right, so bulls, those of us, that are long expecting to lock 20 points here at 23. We have a stop right here. Clean taking of 18. It's a double reason to um, to get out of, of, of the long because we know that um, that we are in beginning to have short term resistance. You know, uh, sure, short term, but resistance nevertheless. That's why 23. It's target two. That's exactly the reason why 23 is target two. Okay? So, all right, terrific. Now, if we see a beautiful taking of 23, we're going to pulse it out. And we're going to take as much. Uh, we're going to take as much as the market wants to give us. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's 23 and going. 23, 24. Right? Pulse it out. Get. It is an area of... It's a profit taking area right here 23 and above all right don't no 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 shenanigans okay it's just taking advantage of the momentum 23 24 24 half look at that 24 half a buck and a half right those of you who are aggressive uh, traders you know i've been telling you that this is a short right here 23 24 take a shot short 24 right we just made 21 points. We can afford to have a small position short right here, 24, right? 18, is the price gonna take 18? We don't know yet, but we do know that as long as the price is above 18, we are on our way to target three, okay? All right, with our last unit. We trade always three units, one, two, and three. We get out one, we get out two, we're on our way to, to target three. Let's see where it is. Wherever it is. Is it going to go in a straight line? That's not going to happen. That's why we counter trend. Give it a shot. Sometimes counter trends end up being the beginning of a new trend. If it is, and when it is, we nail it at the top or the bottom. Right? Remember that a lot of, a lot of traders want to be tell you, don't trade tops, bottom. That's impossible. Nobody can do it. We do it every day here. Look at it. Bam. 24. Drop to 21. That's three points. Stop break even. Let it ride. You know exactly where the next support is. 18. We're going to play it. That's all there is to it. Hey, my God. Yeah, that's right. We main play still to target three until I tell you not anymore. And now we're taking advantage of this okay pullback, right? That we've known since how long? Then I gave you, then I said 123 is a predetermined resistance today at 9 a.m. So even if you do nothing and you just take a 20 contract short right there, 23, if you wanted to, you're up a grand right now. Since 9 a.m. this morning when I call it, right, Mr. Simple. Simple. <laughs> All right. Okay, well. That's why day trading is so difficult, so that most people cannot do it. And that's a good thing, because if everybody could do it, then we wouldn't, we wouldn't make what we do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
Target 3, let's see what target 3, it's uh, approaching, target 3, it's approaching. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, listen, we, we never know, well, I wouldn't say never, you know, uh, many times, we don't know if we're going to have a, Lamborg a Lamborghini day, all right? So, let's see, okay, hang in there, don't get all out, this is only target 2, all right, all right, this is, this is really important. All right, so target three, right? Uh, we have to be really cautious with target three because I have reasons to believe that this is not a squeeze, but, um, okay, hold on a second. All right, so I have reasons to believe that this is not a, a squeeze, but a crash. So in other words, in my humble opinion, let's, let's ride it to target three, right? So we're managing right now, stop break even, start trailing, right? So we're trailing, trailing, trailing. We know 18, so we're gonna we're gonna trail up to target three. However, it's only 11:05. I have reasons to believe that we're not going to close at the high. There will be um, a some sort of a, a pullback. All right, so we so let's watch it. Okay, we don't want that pullback to take us by surprise. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, target three, ladies and gentlemen, is 36. So we had target one for the for the long 103. Remember, it was 103. I just moved down the support. The long 103 that has never changed. And I told you, as long as the price doesn't take it, we're going to continue being long. Target one, 13. Target two, 23, so that's 10 point. Target three, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, 36. So that's uh, 13 more points. Oh, okay, that's terrific, right? All right, so oh, so this is what we're gonna do, all right? Because we are in a, in a, in a nice um, uptrend, and what we're gonna do is unit three, target three, we're not gonna get all out. Alrighty, we're going to. Uh, I'm. I'm still. Uh, I'm still looking for the last target. Remember that we get out three times, three units, and the last and the last target, the one where we are completely all out. Target three. We don't have to be completely all out. It's a target three. You want to be all out? It's okay. Be all out. But what we're gonna do is um, because the mark. I'm expecting the, the market to recoil off of. 36, just like it did here in this 24. I'm expecting um, uh, a recoil off of it. And then we're going to measure the pullback. We're going to find the support. And then we can either establish a new position long and ride it three more times. Or we just, if you're happy with, uh, with, with, with making from 103, look at this beautiful bounce, 104, right? 103, 104, 105 all the way to 30. If you're happy with making 30 points, then it's okay too. And remember what I told you. I'm expecting a pullback and we don't want to be taken by surprise by it. Okay? That's why we counter trend. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, another fatty, right? Price goes to 30. Pull back all the way to beautiful 18. We know that above 23 is a counter trend. Sure, right? We know. We all know that. And I told you, I'm expecting a pullback. So we don't want to, and that's why we counter trend. Um, what's this stop for the bulls? Those who are long, like we are long from 102, 103, 104, and we want to go to 36. 18. Is that 18 to the tip by any chance? Is this pullback to 18? <laughs> I think.